For Ukrainians in Zaporizhia, smoke billowing from the chimneys of a nearby energy plant is a welcome sight. It means heat is being pumped into some of their homes. One less thing to worry about as the conflict with Russia stretches into the winter months. Yes, the flat is warm. Everything's okay. I haven't checked the temperature, but I can walk around without thick clothes. Now I'm going to my daughter's home to see if heating is supplied at her place. But so far, only some residential buildings are receiving heat or electricity. Power lines at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, Europe's largest, have been heavily damaged due to the conflict. So priority is given to places like nursery schools and hospitals, and even then, supplies are limited. The temperature is almost the same indoors and outdoors. How can we keep warm when there's no power? Thank God there's gas so we can burn gas to keep warm. When there's power, we turn on the electric heater. Zaporizhia municipal officials say they're aiming to keep residents' indoor temperatures no lower than 18 degrees Celsius.